Okay, this is Simon, recording a video for AES with regard to month ending. I know we spoke about this last week um, and also the week before that, but just, yeah, just to record a video, just to uh, make sure you've got that and you can pass it around as well. Um, so, yeah, before we start going through the details, so yeah, the month end guide, if you go into Pinnacle and in help, uh, so there's a training guides button here, so scrolling down to the month end process guide. So that does give you the full detail. Um, now this is uh, a lengthy guide, <laughs> and obviously you can choose uh, what what you what is what is important to you and what you'd like to perform as part of your month end process. But as I said last week and the week before, so what I'll talk you through is the is is the is the necessary steps to get through month end. And what we'll start with is we'll start with vehicles and month end here. The two main steps are contained within vehicles and accounts. But if we start with vehicles, month end and finalize transactions, okay? So you'll need to do this in vehicles, you need to do this for Porsche and Bentley, and obviously making sure you select the month end that you want to close, so period 11. Let's do it, have a look at Porsche first, so period 11, okay? Now, what you'll need to do is you'll need to finalize all vehicles. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click view close down exception report, and this is gonna show you all the exceptions that you that mean that you cannot finalize these vehicles. Now, you will not be able to close down the period for Porsche or Bentley November until you've resolved all of these exceptions. So if you remember, we showed this to you two or three times last week, you need to look at these outstanding workshop invoices. These all need to be completed. So that means either invoiced out to complete the job or the job needs to be cancelled. I think if some of these are PDIs and they've been received by the workshop, they will need to be invoiced. So you have to uh, you have to resolve these and complete the work for these invoices to be able to finalise these vehicles. Okay. So these are all the vehicles again that have been invoiced in the period in November. You'll have to close out and complete any invoices, attach them to the workshop. When you've done finalise all, you'll get a, a message saying all vehicles have been completed successfully. Once you've done that, you can go into close down period. Okay. I can't do it yet because it's saying at the moment, not all of the vehicles for this period have been finalized successfully. Okay. And just a reminder, again, you need to do that for Porsche and Bentley for November. Okay. Once you've done that for vehicles, <clears throat> the next step you have to complete is within accounts. So there are sales ledger and purchase ledger month end processes. So if we first go into accounts, sales ledger, month end what this is really going to ask you to do is for the whole group so you only have to do this once because you have one division so for the whole group for november it's asking you to verify that you've printed these reports now the reason why <coughs> excuse me it's asking you to verify that you've printed these reports is these reports are live so for example the first the age debt report you will not be able to get the status of the age debt report as at the end of November after you've closed November. So what that means is if you want to go back, if we're in April 2019 and you want to see what debtors were outstanding and their age at the end of November, you will not be able to get that because chances are a lot of those debts will have been processed, they'll have been paid, they'll have come off the age debt report. It is a live report. The sales ledger and purchase ledgers in Pinnacle are live. So you will need to print and form a month end pack of information. So printing the age debt report, printing the day book, printing the transaction report. Click all of these off, these boxes, hit next, and that will allow you to, to, to month end the sales ledger. To get all of these reports, to actually print them out, simply go into accounts, sales ledger, and reporting. And you'll see here, so the age debt uh, and the transaction and daybook reports, okay? It's the equivalent, but on the payable side for the purchase ledger, so accounts, purchase ledger, month end. The month end process, again, you've got one division, the AES group division, <clears throat> so click period 11. And this is again gonna ask you if you've printed the age credit report, the daybook for the purchase ledger, and the transaction report for purchase ledger. Again, to close off period 11, you'll need to check all three of these boxes, hit next and you'll get a confirmation message that you are now working in period 12 and you've successfully closed period 11. And again, to actually get into those reports, if you look accounts, purchase ledger reporting, 
you'll see these reports here, day book, age credit, transaction. Now within the nominal ledger, if you go to accounts nominal ledger month end, and go for period 11, now we're going to start at the end, okay? So if we just hit accept, <coughs> excuse me. So here, if you go nominal ledger month end, it is telling you why the month end cannot be run. And this is a checklist, okay? So this checklist, this is everything you need to do for the month end process to complete, okay? So user in earlier period, that's asking, are we in period 11 rather than period 12? So that's yes, so that's green, so we can month end because of that. Is the sale month ledger month ended? No. So we haven't checked the three boxes for that sales ledger back within accounts, uh, sales ledger and month end. Similar for purchase ledger, it's saying we haven't done that yet, so that's no. Only once we've done those two will those two go green. And vehicle management month ended, that's the first thing we looked at where you have to finalize the transactions for, for the vehicles for November. Okay. All transactions updated. If that says no, just click this button here. So accounts, nominal ledger, update, and click update there if that's a, a red no. Okay. Now the next one, the next important one is that the dump account balance has to be zero at the end of each month end. So what that means is if we go into our dump account, so if we go into accounts, nominal ledger, <coughs> inquiry for November, and we take a look at our dump account. All the Zs for November, display, view details. So we've got some transactions, what look like some internal transactions. Now, this is very important that because of all these internal transactions based from the workshop, this might be that once you've finalized those workshop jobs related to vehicles, these entries might then come out of the dump account. These could be timing difference entries, okay? So you definitely need to close the vehicle month end before you clear your dump account. Otherwise, when you invoice all of these items, what might happen is you might get credits here and it will debit to the inter sales ledger, okay? That's what looks like it's gonna happen, but you're gonna have to close the vehicle month end first to find that. Once you've got down to the bottom of that, once you've resolved that, this difference, <coughs> excuse me, you have to journal from the dump account to somewhere else. So this 40,000, okay, you have to, accounts, nominal ledger, journal entry, journal it somewhere, and remember to journal it somewhere in November. Okay, I'm not gonna complete this process. I'm just gonna put it on clear November. And remember, I need to credit to clear the dump account. Now I need to choose where I'm going to put my debit. And once I've done that debit, I hit complete and post that journal. I'm not going to do that, but you need to clear the dump account before you can close November. Okay. The next step, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> the next step, so total value on the P&L, so total profit. If we look at our profit and loss, the profit and loss has to be zero to be able to process the month end, which in accountant speak means you have to move your profit to your retained earnings on the balance sheet. Okay, so the accountants will know what that means. So if we look at accounts, normal ledger, reporting, profit and loss for November. So you're gonna have to journal the profit from the profit and loss to your retained earnings on the balance sheet. So that's just a simple journal. And again, we recommend that you do this last because obviously any entries that you make or any, any transactions that are finalized when you finalize the vehicle month end and after when you um, do the dump account journal might impact your profit and loss. So you definitely need to do this last. And here, that's what this code is for. Okay, so at the moment you've got a total net profit of 120 million. So you will need to debit 990001 and my guess will be that you need to credit so debit 999001 these are your nominal codes not mine so obviously please 
please correct me if this is wrong, but I'm guessing you have to credit net profit loss here. So I'm guessing you want to credit this 103, 102. So again, back to the journal screen, your nominal ledger, journal entry, journal. Remember to put the posting date into November. I normally put it at the month end. So remember the, the uh, profit and loss clear November. <coughs> and put that in here. So whatever the, the two journals was, what is it, 990? Transfer to balance sheet. So this is from your profit and loss. So if you had the you had the profit, which is a credit, so put in whatever the balance was on the profit and loss. And we can flick back to the screen to see the value on the profit and loss, yeah? So at any point, you can come back to the screen to remind yourself what you've still got left to do. And then you wanted to put it on the balance sheet. I've forgotten the code, but obviously if you're using the codes regularly, and this will be the journal that you perform once a month, so this will probably become fair practice. Uh, whatever, whatever that, um, whatever that code was for retained earnings, you want to put the credit there for that retained earnings or uh, profit and loss for the period. Once you've done that, your profit and loss balance will be zero. Okay, and you'll be able to see that going forward. That'll bring down this total, total profit value on P&L to zero as well. These two, this is just to let you know. So these are two timing differences. So your internal vehicle suspense account is everything that's um, all of the PDIs and all of the PDI work and workshop work um, that that should be coming down to zero once you close all your invoices. And the same with the internal transfer suspense account. These are both there as an indicator, just so you can see how large they are. You can still process the month end with values on these two codes, but it's just to show you. And this final line is to show you the number of users in the nominal ledger. So if there's somebody else in this section, it will tell you, just so you know, in case somebody else might be doing some activity in the nominal ledger. It will still let you process the month end even if somebody else is there, it's just to let you know. And once you've completed all these things, you'll be able to click process here to run the month end. Now you're almost there, there's one more step. Pinnacle will then ask you, because we're closing November, so we're closing period 11, 2018. Pinnacle will then ask you when you want period 11, 2019 to end. Now it is important that you choose the correct date. Otherwise, when you get to period 11, 2019, it won't end on the correct date. So obviously for period 11, 2019, you want to choose the um, 30th of November. So I was just reminding myself it was 30 or 31 days. You want to choose the 30th of November, 2019 for period 11, 2019 to end. Okay, and that's, that's everything you have to perform. So to go back to summarize quickly, you need to month end vehicles. You need to month end the sales ledger. You need to month end the purchase ledger, and then you need to month end the nominal ledger. At any point, if you're not sure whether you've completed the month end process correctly, if you go into nominal ledger and month end, you can see this summary here. And like I say, just make sure you are looking in November and you'll only have to do that once. If you've only got one group. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we'll also be having a call tomorrow, but we'll send you this video in advance of the call so you can take a look through. And uh, please let us know if you have any other questions. All right. Thank you very much.